Don't come over here, come question me, come, Mr. Big Woman. Come off of this song, go. So. I don't know. Yeah, come question me about it. I feel like me a pit me. Skadesh, wag one. Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Vibes Cartel. Get some serious warning as this exposed on camera. Plus, Squash and his baby mother put on a big baby shower right here. We're gonna feature that as well. Also, Prisoner speak out from Vibes Cartel previous prison cell. Yes, people, we also see Johan Blake opening restaurant in Florida. Congratulations, we're gonna get into that as well. We have a video to feature with Romish. We have good amount of topics, people. We're gonna talk about Idonia too. So stay tuned, we have a lot more coming up. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. So Ninja Man words come to pass again. Just the other day, we see a clip. When Ninja Man did an interview on On Stage TV in 2014, when Vibes Cartel verdict dropped. And it's like Ninja Man said at one point, if Vibes Cartel did bust the case at that time. Fim advised to Vibes Cartel just cool out from Jamaica. Nobody go pan no corner or anything like that. But right here, some fans believe like Vibes Cartel oppose a bit too much in business. My advice to him, he would have to just cool out from Jamaica for a while. If my, if my come perform, him just come perform. No go back in no corner, corner, go link up no man, man and you know, no Ray Ray and no Blay Blay with nobody because him would have come out from that thing on him if you sleep, you slide, you know, you would. Yes. From the other day, me see some fans that say one and few things, but me never really talk about it like when Vibes Cartel went to the restaurant and imposed way and way him there, you know, the location and all of that. But not until right here we see more and more people are react since Vibes Cartel exposed this camera footage of his premises. This person right here posts, this is a dumb move if you ask me cause why would you announce that you have cameras and where they are? An next person posts, me wonder if Uno remember say I saw him stay from long time in video and show everything. An expert suppose this man needs to check with Buju Bantan to know how to act when you're released from prison. As you can see, an next one post, nothing wrong, ya teacher, you did miss out on 14 years, what everybody did I do. So since Vibes Cartel release, some of my fans them decide for react or respond to some things being said about Vibes Cartel while he was in prison. On a notice, especially over TikTok. Well, that topic when Futa Hype said Busy Signal did bigger than Vibes Cartel during the interview with Gaza Uncle. We see, you know, people up to this day still at talk about it. It did cause a debate when Futa Hype did that interview. Busy Signal a bigger artist than Vibes Cartel. What do you mean? Foot hype, a full time you ever got. Huck. I'm not gonna tell about your mother. Or... This is a signal I wish artists to my artist. Yeah, I hear that. Hey boy, check the stats, good man. You have to have a watch out for this. You know, you know, you're a man sing that. See, summertime, check summertime. That alone, me, I tell you if you go check. Oh, you have to have a fever. Hey boy, you have sense. You have no sense. How are you, man? You got to talk about the boss, never knowing. Why name world boss? You have, to, you have to be known all over the world to name world boss. Hey, Vibes Cartel, back to you again, my DJ. Don't put out no more song yet. Yeah, you put out no more song. All of these Jamaican entertainers who was here, raining like they're a raging bull, they will do a different job because my site once started to do security work already. I don't know if it's a problem. Eyes a video shoot. So this prisoner right here speak out from Vibes Cartel prison cell. Well, not Vibes Cartel prison cell anymore, I should say. Yes, people, so y'all supposed to familiar with this cell right here. Well, this prisoner basically speaking about some issues him having a prisoner going and thing and, you know, he's like, 
somehow him get the chance to record this video and we see a lot of people are react some people are telling mind them take with him phone a bag of things y'all can check out the full thing over terror and page if y'all interested in the full story on what he's saying yes people we see terror and did an exclusive on it but for now we're just gonna feature this part that's why so like this that me saying but no it's a building that me at all about so i'm try for everything for drawing me out so i'm trying to stay as far from him because me could not tell him from the from the 12 and i said kill for the way i do but me, me said no i'm not answer him to him leave make him let him out he came back and did 16 and let him out i said i still not answer him to you he come on the 17 about him come on the 17 we say approval could just got to rat and a fight start right a fight start right in front of god god was in button hope could just got to fire because no like could just got to when me and reason said god you never know about him said no him so pray them to him nothing me say i set them set you up this big on you then if you if really attack the truth so i don't know if i tell the truth but him say i said they never tell them, I set them, set them up. This is politics playing. They have some images that they want to get out, including me and the main man. So I am the one that trying to draw out. But I am wise. Francis Harris, the one on price. They go up the man's cell and oh, well, take out Chris out of the cell and make him throw things in the man's cell. The whole on the name of the car. I'm not trying to set them. All right, people, may I tell you? Holy for corruption, it seems like it in a prison system. You will get set up all type of things. So, if you can, try your best. Stay out of trouble to how me see it and hear how some prisoner attack vibes cartel come out and say it. That just lead from one trouble to a next trouble. So, this lady right here put out a recent video saying that vibes cartel bought her groceries. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Last night, I said, Cartel, I make a give a beer, champagne, beer, anything, and beer things. Me decide for way upon Cartel out of the world. When I said, Cartel, I said, Cartel, I get the anything, I get the champagne, I want to buy some grocery and put it in my house. And Cartel give me the money, Cartel, I buy the grocery, and I'm a baby grocery, and yeah. look more. The rice and the flour and the sugar and the caramel are come in because I order them from a cousin store. One Gaza nation, you know. Big up yourself, cartel. Or it come down. So, congratulations to you and Blake, Jamaican athlete, opening his new restaurant in Florida. Right here, he put this out saying, It's been a journey full of challenges, but with hard work and determination, I'm proud to finally be launching my restaurant venture on October 8th. This wasn't easy, but nothing worth having ever is. I'm inviting you to come out and dine with me. Let's celebrate this moment together with good food and good vibes. I can't wait to see you all there and share this experience with you. Hashtag you and Blake. So this is a romantic moment from Idonia to his wife while on tour in Europe. <laughs> Roses for you. <laughs> so recording artist Squash seen right here happy at his baby shower. Yes, people, as you can see, the setup and everything, his baby mother. Yeah, people, so right here we see a lot of fans react. A lot of people congratulating the artist. As you can see, the turnout right here, many came out to support. Yes, people, close friends and family. So as you can see, both of them right there, Squash and his baby mother, congratulations. <laughs> On the other side right here, Shorty Ed Chip. On our live last night after some people keep on a questionnaire about Vibes Cartel, see them and of lately Lisa Hyper around Vibes Cartel. So we see like some people I mention Lisa Hype name or bring Lisa Hype name to Shorty. So mainly Shorty ignore them but at one point we see Shorty diss up some people upon our live and mainly it was like a black party. It's like 
shawty a black people left right and center remember she won just the other day well right here shawty the on her live a promote her business you know she have her skin cream business but I don't like a lot of people they just want to question shawty about other things uh. I'm not saying nothing, you see it? Don't come over here, come question me, come, it's a big man. Come on, for this song, so. I don't know. I have a question about it. I feel like I have hit me. Let me go for the rush. It is power top. That I feel them job, you know, I guess them get paid for it, so them are also feel them also that and Chris Champion, that is it. Cream bad, talk up them at them ear. Now I'm all pre. I'm go for the art mania. Good night. How long? Three to four days, depends. I want to try the cream. You can go for Boss Lady Skin Cream on IG. I see the price. Boss Lady Skin Cream. Yeah, tell them that from for your dust black for your one black. Yeah, talk. Enough kisses. Oh, thank you. Inside, outside. So right here, Vibes Cartel Defense, see them from critics over social media. It's like some people I make some negative comments about Vibes Cartel fiance, you know, his wife, when he posts her. And it's like Vibes Cartel, I go through some of the comments and see what I want. Check this out right here. Guys, I need Sean Cockett, yes. This is not for one. You know where the... Uh, I am a woman, fiance, and you know, my little son, I could, and we we'll go Panama, do a little shopping and thing, and you know, have a little vacation, and bring my son, as I say. Little added it there as well, but I never really mean him go with, we just happen to be on the same flight, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I really mean see them, and I could, and go. Uh, Alright, I don't know I could have a game man. I don't remember how much money I gave me game, but it was a lot. And I gave them some money to me. I know, maybe I must have 30,000 30, US or some, something along the line, the 28,000. And when we did go shopping, she had said, Oh, these things are so expensive. And when I said, Babes, you have the money. Anything you want, just buy, I got you. You know the most expensive thing she buy was a purse, a Gucci purse for my mother. But it bought two thousand six hundred US. That are the most expensive thing she buy. She's not a fussy girl, you know. Yeah, come remember and everybody and everybody want dress like or like Una. You know what I mean? Yeah, some people just good with them modest dressing and thing. And she good. You yeah, know, anything she want, the girl. So, yeah. And, m no, for no, I say a comment, I go for this one more. But when I go up on a, go up on a page, this is on a sufferer, on a hungry. So, I'm not going to add insult to injury. You know what I mean? Yeah, because. So, I say, babe, my baby is good. Anything she want, I got her. Yeah, man, a rich life, man. Down? Oh. I'm out. 
So recently, Ramesh went live speaking his mind, saying that people always come out and bash him over social media, even some artists. And if him fi come out and talk, people would have really see the truth and him are not the troublemaker. A people always a come at him, even some artists. Ramesh outline. I mean, I. I have over 4,000 people who black on Instagram. You know why I black them? Because in no time, time, time of life, I don't want the person that can deal me and ask for help. I can't help somebody where I bash me and I try to jam me down and disrespect me. I will forgive you and move on and can say hi and bye, but certain levels, I don't go go. Certain levels, I don't go go. And as you can see, I am God bless. Me always I win, my team always I win. If I am so disgusting and so rude and so Ranch and so sneaking and so this and that. Oh, I'm still a win. Brother, God would have seen me a long time, bro. God would have taken my blessing. You get me, I say? And I have any idea when I understand the people do enough things. When I understand the people do enough things behind. Yo, people enough to do enough things behind closed door. I choose me not come out and talk. Me can't, the whole of the people that I see I bash me and attack, if I come and say and chat, I don't really look for them different. To the so-called artists, them, I don't think are the best thing. Yo, I have proof of everything. You hear me, I say? I have proof, I have title, I have everything. I can come out and hold on. You know what? One day, I'm going to do it. One day, I want somebody to pay me. Because I don't give them a free vlog for going to make the money off. I want to pay me for coming for the vlog. And I'm going to carry the whole of the receipt and I'm going to defend myself and chat about everything. From my favorite female artist to the one where I said this. To the man, they must say that to the sport people, they must do this. The whole of them, I have received from all of them for sure. So I did my post. Well. I tell you, I tell you, I want to have a look and say, Blood, blood look how we bash on me and chat this and disrespect the youth. And the youth, not the youth. All right, I tell you, say, safe journey, my G. Let me know when I reach safe. Back after seeing Idonia share this throwback photo right here, only. The real JOP fans them know this picture. Yeah, people from the Jum Lane Rhythm Days. I wonder how much artists in this photo right here wanna recognize. <laughs> Jump in the comment section and let me know. We see I don't your caption. JOP the blueprint. So dance all artist squash mother talks vibes cartel and this is her son's enemies. Right here, a recent article we see outline on Yard Hype where Squash Mother Shelley Ann Millwood, who goes by the name of Shelley Ann London on social media, did a live chat over the weekend in which she talked about Squash and her other sons. She also talked about Five Scottel's prison release. So, as you can see, Shelley Ann is known to speak her mind unapologetically whenever people take aim at her or her sons. In her latest live chat, she expressed that she has six nice sons and it's the people around them that draw them out to do violence at times. Her exact words say, how could a mother like me or big man push my son to do violence? If the artist gets shot, a fame name fuss on a call. What do you him get locked up the amount of thing me say on a put panda media there. Everything that's bad, a fame name on a put up. Come on man. Uno think positive bro, uno fe happy fe uno black brother, say Shelly Ann, as she defends Squash hours after his first performance in five years. Notably, many people online are saying that the performance by Andre Whitaker, professionally known as Squash, was lacking energy which seemingly sparked her reaction. Despite her rant at critics, the six boss mother also spoke some positive words towards Five Scottel, who himself has been shouting out Squash since his release from jail two months ago, according to the outspoken mother. The Jamaicans are the ones who are throwing dirt on her son's name. Her exact words as she outlined saying, Fully Gaza, cartel real youth, love him you see, real youth, me love how him come out and kick them, continue winning vibes cartel, out of love, never stop vibes cartel, she express, me is a girl, we never get up and wish bad pan no young youth in a life in a bro, never wish 
if you see a man in a jail house yes people so that is what squash mother put out despite some people are criticizing first performance you know in a long while now <laughs> So right here a letter published to Mr. Adija Palmer from South Florida Caribbean News. Yes people as you can see where the headline state Leo Gildin. A letter to Mr. Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer. We're gonna get into this and y'all can drop your opinion in the comment section. As you can see where the article state, I was one of many who advocated for your release. I defended your release from imprisonment. Even at the cost of losing friendships, I must admit that I didn't follow the original trial. Still, over the past couple of years, I have thoroughly reviewed the events of your 2014 trial, the appellate processes, and the Privy Council's decision in May 2014. From a legal standpoint, I believe it was time for the government to release you from prison. Your appeal case, in my opinion, exemplifies what should happen when injustice is done to anyone regardless of their ability to defend themselves against prosecution your attorneys were persistent resilient and convinced that an injustice had occurred if you hadn't had the financial support to fight your case for 13 years let's face it you would still be an inmate today and no one would know that you were wrong not many people have that opportunity but you seize it kudos to you currently you are a free man although not everyone acknowledge it legally you are free your situation provides hope to others who seek a fair trial whether guilty or innocent it is a trial that adheres to the rule of law and the principles of justice your case has shed light on the operations of law enforcement the court system and corrections in jamaica your release has prompted a re-evaluation of the justice served initially providing some assurance to others who are unjustly incarcerated on trial or in the process of appeal however your release has also provoked irritation among those who believe that you do not deserve freedom they still view you as the individual who committed a crime and evaded accountability changing their perceptions may prove challenging but you can influence their reactions to some extent as people saw right here he outlined that recommendations for vibes cartel to regain trust within society a recent release inmate can take the following measures demonstrating rehabilitation by participating in activities that reflect personal growth maturity and development such as pursuing education vocational training or therapy engage in community service volunteer work or support groups to illustrate a commitment to making positive contributions and next one right here be transparent about past mistakes and efforts to change and take accountability for actions maintain law abiding lifestyle and show empathy and respect to others yeah people so as you can see you know right here the recent article outline certain things about vibes cartel yes people so this come from leo gildin we see the article published on south florida caribbean news yo reggae media tv bada dan everything we bad and we madder dan everything we mad subscribe now yeah